Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at the best business phone for office work in the market. So if you're planning on buying one, then you're in the right place. Please do check out the description below to see all the featured products and their buy links. Let's get started. The Samsung Galaxy Note Ultra 5G phone takes power to the next level letting you master whatever you choose to do next. With pen precision that beats PC power using S Pen and Samsung Notes, it feels like you're using an actual pen to jot down notes and sketch ideas. Perfect for work, play, and everything in between, the hyperfast processor allows you to multitask without slowing down while making file sharing a breeze with point to share. Experience smooth gameplay on the adaptive dynamic AMOLED 2X display with the best Galaxy for mobile gaming and low blue light emissions on the 6.5-inch Infinity O display. The ultimate productivity tool operate from mobile to PC seamlessly with link to Windows and share files with a simple drop and drag and convert into Microsoft Word or PowerPoint across all your Galaxy devices without ever worrying about running out of charge thanks to the intelligent battery and super fast charge. iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 is Apple's latest generation of smartphones offering an OLED display, 5G connectivity, the A14 chip for better performance, improved cameras, and MagSafe, all in a new squared off design. The 6.1 inch iPhone 12 is a successor to the iPhone 11. This excellent phone got Super Retina XDR OLED displays for the first time with an edge to edge design, except for face ID notch and small bezels around the edge. There's no difference in display quality between the standard iPhone 12 models. The display offer HDR support with 1200 nits peak brightness, wide color for vivid true to life colors, haptic touch for feedback and true tone to match the display's color temperature in ambient lighting for a more natural viewing experience. The front of the iPhone is protected by a new ceramic shield cover that replaces the standard cover glass. Apple says the ceramic shield is infused with nano ceramic crystals and offers four times better drop performance. When it comes to camera, there are still significant improvements in the new iPhone 12 models compared to the iPhone 11. There's an f2.4 ultra wide camera and a wide camera that has a new f1.6 aperture that lets in 27% more light for better performance in low light conditions, along with two times optical zoom and five times digital zoom. Coming to battery life, the iPhone 12 offers up to 17 hours of video playback, 11 hours streaming video playback, and 65 hours of audio playback. Samsung Galaxy S20. From 5G network speeds to 8K videos, the Galaxy S20 smartphone pushes forward what's possible with smartphone technology. The triple camera system features a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto camera plus a 10 megapixel selfie camera. The cameras can get close up to 30 times super resolution zoom and are incredibly detailed with 8K video. 8K resolution is so detailed that you can use 8K video snap to pull out a frame and save the moment as a high res 33 megapixel photo. A massive 6.2 inch HDR 10 plus certified AMOLED two times display is not just your viewfinder for saving memories, but it's also your portal for experiencing new moments with the latest in mobile entertainment. The nearly bezel-less Infinity O display has no notch, just a small cutout for the selfie camera, helping to immerse you within your games, TV shows, and movies. Powering everything is a 4000 mAh battery for all day power. Under the hood, the Galaxy S20 runs the Android 10 operating system and sports a 64-bit 2.8 gigahertz processor, Snapdragon 865 chipset, and 12 gigabytes of RAM. Your 8K videos, 33 megapixel video snaps, 
and 30 times stills can be saved on the Galaxy S20's 12 gigabytes of internal storage, which can be upgraded with an optional micro SD card up to one terabyte in size. Google Pixel 5. The Google Pixel 5 is a good simplified phone choice. Simplified could apply to the whole phone. It's got an all-in-one body that curves from the back around the sides, which is metal, so you won't have to worry about shattering it. Google has also gone back to the physical fingerprint sensor on the rear of the phone, which is far easier to find without looking than an in-screen scanner. And with the purest version of Android 11 on board, there's no bloatware or operating system complications. The Pixel 5 has wireless charging, a 90 Hz refresh rate display, and 5G, while its 4000 mAh battery is a lot bigger and subsequently lasts far longer than the 2800 mAh battery in the Pixel 4. The 6-inch Full HD Plus 2340x1080p display is a sharp and bright screen with minimal bezels and a punch hole to house the front-facing camera. The Google Pixel 5 packs a pair of rear cameras, and you'd be forgiven for thinking they're the same as the cameras on the Pixel 4, as the new phone inherits the old handset's glass-covered camera block. It does have the same 12.2 megapixel main shooter, but the Pixel 5 swaps out its predecessor's 2x optical telephoto lens for a 16 megapixel ultra-wide lens. OnePlus 8T. The OnePlus 8T is shaping up as an excellent premium mid-ranger with a slew of flagship features. A 120 Hz Fluid AMOLED, the latest Snapdragon 865 chip, a promising quad camera with improved low-light performance, stereo speakers, and probably OnePlus best achievement yet, a larger battery with blazing fast warp charge at 65. The OnePlus 8T is getting a 120 Hz OLED. At the same time, its primary camera gets a brighter aperture for the main camera, an even wider ultra-wide lens, and an additional depth camera. Finally, you get a 4,500 mAh battery with 65 watt charging, with 4,300 mAh and 30 watt charging. Okay, these are not the widest upgrades we've seen, but they're enough to make the cheaper OnePlus devices in the duo desirable again. The OnePlus 8T is the first phone to come with Oxygen OS 11, based on Android 11, out of the box. Many of the recent OnePlus phones are getting the update too, but being first is a title that only the 8T can claim. Sony Xperia Pro. The Xperia Pro enables professional photo video creators and broadcasters to work faster and wiser than ever before. Featuring HDMI connectivity, it supports 5G, MM Wave 3, and 5G Sub 8 for high speed data transfer and is engineered to optimize signal reception. You can simplify your workflow with one device that's always with you. The Xperia Pro can live stream a clean video feed from your capable camera or camcorder when connected to the HDMI input terminal directly to popular social media platforms like YouTube or using compatible third-party live streaming applications like StreamYard and Streamlabs to an RTMP server with ultra-fast 5G MM wave and stable 360-degree four-way antenna. It's also a significant form factor and doesn't require an external battery or power supply, so it's effortless to rig it up and use. With 4K resolution and support for the BT2020 vast color space, the Xperia Pro's 6.5-inch 21.9 cinema-wide HDR OLED display offers the image accuracy you need when you're working on location. The Xperia Pro enables reliable high-speed wired file transfer through USB from your alpha camera with instant upload to FTP via ultra-fast 5G MM wave connectivity. The Xperia Pro features a 360-degree antenna design which covers the four sides of the device. 
Together with beam forming technology, it is the most effective way to capture high band frequency 5G MM Wave 3 signals. A Sony Xperia Pro is said to run the Android V10 operating system and might be packed with a 4000 mAh battery that can run for a day effectively. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please tell us which products you would like us to review next in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description box for all the buy links of the products featured today. Thank you.